Luke chapter 21, Luke chapter 21, and he looked up, that's the Lord Jesus Christ looked up and saw the rich men casting their gifts into the treasury. And he saw also a certain poor widow casting in thither or there two mites. And he said, Of a truth I say unto you that this poor widow have cast in more than they all. For all these have of their abundance cast in unto the offerings of God, but she of her penury have cast in all her the living that she had. In other words, from her poverty. And as some spake of the temple, how it was adorned with goodly stones and gifts, he said, As for these things which ye behold, the days will come in the which there shall not be left one stone upon another, that shall not be thrown down. And they asked him, saying, Master, but when shall these things be? And what sign will there be when these things shall come to pass? And he said, Take heed that ye be not deceived, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and the time draweth near. Go ye not therefore after them, but when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified, for these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by and by. Uh, then said he unto them, Nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And great earthquakes shall be in diverse or different places, and famines, and pestilences, or diseases, and fearful sights, and great signs shall there be from heaven. But before all these, they shall lay their hands on you, and uh, persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues and into prisons, being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake. And it shall turn to, your, uh, to you for a testimony. Settle it therefore in your hearts not to meditate before what ye shall answer, for I will give you a mouth of, and wisdom which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. And ye shall be betrayed both by parents and brethren, and kinsfolk, and friends, and some of you shall they cause to be put to death. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But there shall not an hair of your head perish. In your patience possess ye your souls. When ye shall see Jerusalem compass with armies, then know that the desolation thereof is gone. And let them which we are in Judea flee to the mountains, and let them which are in the midst of it depart out. And let not them that are uh, in the countries enter there into. For these be the days of vengeance, that all things which are written may be fulfilled. But woe unto them that are with child, and to them that give suck in those days. For there shall uh, be great distress in the land, and wrath upon this people. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword, and shall be led away captive into all nations. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles, until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken and then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. And he spake to them a parable, Behold, the fig tree and all the trees. When they now shoot, out, shoot forth, ye see and know of your own selves that summer is now nigh at hand, or near at hand. So likewise ye, when ye see these things come to pass, know 
ye that the kingdom of God is nigh at hand. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass away till all be fulfilled. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. And take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness and cares of this life, and so that day come upon you unawares. For as a snare shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. And in the daytime he was teaching in the temple and at night he went out and abode in the mount that is called the Mount of Olives. And all the people came early in the morning to him in the temple for to hear him. They wanted to come and hear the Lord Jesus Christ, the best preacher in the whole universe. They wanted to hear him preach. Oh now, are you interested in the preaching of the Word of God? You should be interested because it's warning you to flee from the wrath which is to come. God is angry with the wicked every day, and yet he's not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. God wants you to realize that you're a sinner in the sight of God, and that we're headed for his judgment in hell and the lake of fire for all eternity. But he does not want us to go there. That's why we read that the Father sent the Son to be the Savior of the world. But is he your Savior? You need to make him yours personally. And this uh, time that we've been talking about here, preaching about, is the seven year tribulation period. A time that will come after the Lord Jesus Christ comes down into the air to take the Christians to be forever with himself. That's what we're waiting for at this particular time now. The coming of our Lord Jesus Christ into the air to take the Christians to be forever with himself. We commonly call it the rapture, the rapture of the church. I wonder, will you be caught up to meet the Lord in the air, or will you be left behind to go through the tribulation period? Terrible time of judgment, especially the last three and a half years, is called the great tribulation. No need to be left behind. You can be caught up when the Lord Jesus Christ comes, if you'll put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. If you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ for your eternal salvation. You see, what we need is this, forgiveness for our sins. Without that forgiveness, we're heading down to hell. We're heading for the judgment of Almighty God. That judgment will fall upon you if you die without Jesus Christ as your Savior. But I'm here to tell you that there's hope for you, only found in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the Saviour for us poor sinners. Luke chapter 22, now the Feast of Unleavened Bread drew nigh, uh, which is called the Passover, and the chief priests and scribes saw it, how they might kill him, for they feared the people. Then entered Satan into Judas, surnamed Iscariot, being one of the number of the twelve. And he went his way and communed with the chief priests and captains how he might betray him unto them. And they were glad and covenanted to give him money. And he promised and sought opportunity to betray him unto them in the absence of the multitude. Then came the day of unleavened bread when the Passover must be killed. And he sent uh, Peter and John saying, Go and prepare us the Passover that we may eat. And they said unto him, Where wilt thou that we prepare? And he said unto them, Behold, when ye are entered into the city, there shall a man meet you bearing a pitcher of water or a container of water. Follow him into the house where he entereth in. And ye shall say unto the goodman of the house, The master saith unto thee, where is the guest chamber where I shall eat the Passover with my disciples? And he shall show you a large upper room furnished, there make ready. And they went and found as he had said unto them, 
and they made ready the Passover. And when the hour was come, he sat down, and the twelve apostles with him. And he said unto them, With desire I have desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I say unto you, I will not any more eat thereof until it be fulfilled in the kingdom of God. And he took the cup and gave thanks and said, Take this and divide it among yourselves. For I say unto you, I will not drink of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God shall come. And he took bread and gave thanks and break it and gave unto them, saying, This is my body which is given for you, this do in remembrance of me. Likewise also the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood which is shed for you. But behold, the hand of him that betrayeth me is with me on the table. And truly the Son of Man goeth as it was determined, but woe unto that man by whom he is betrayed. And they began to inquire among themselves which of them it was that should do this thing. And there was also a strife among them which of them should be accounted the greatest. And he said unto them, The kings of the Gentiles exercise lordship over them, and they that exercise authority upon them are called benefactors. But ye shall uh, not be so. But he that is greatest among you, let him be as the younger. And he that is chief, as he that doth serve. For whether is greater, he that sitteth at meat, or he that serveth. Is not he that sitteth at meat? But I am among you as he that serveth. Ye are they which have continued with me in my temptations. And I appoint unto you a kingdom, as my Father hath appointed unto me, that ye may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom, and sit on thrones judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan hath desired to have you, that he may sift you as wheat. But I prayed for thee, that thy faith fail not. When thou art converted, or turned around, strengthen thy brethren. And he said unto him, Lord, I am ready to go with thee both into prison and to death. And he said, I tell thee, Peter, the cock shall not crow this day before that thou shalt thrice or three uh, shalt deny me, uh, shalt thrice deny that thou knowest me. In other words, he was going to deny the Lord three times. And he said unto them, When I sent you without purse and script and shoes, lacked ye anything? And they said, Nothing. Then said he unto them, But now he that hath a purse, let him take it. And likewise his script, and he that hath no sword, let him sell his garment and buy one. For I say unto you that this that is written must yet be accomplished in me. And he was reckoned among the transgressors, for the things concerning me have an end. And they said, Lord, behold, here are two swords. And he said unto them, It is enough. And he came out and uh, went as he was wont to the Mount of Olives, and his disciples also follow him. And when he was at the place, he said unto them, Pray that ye enter not into temptation, saying, Father, if thou be willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but thine be done. And there appeared an angel unto him from heaven, strengthening him. Being in an agony, he prayed more earnestly, and his sweat was, as it were, great drops of blood falling down to the ground. When he arose up, and when he rose up from prayer, and was come to his disciples, he found them sleeping for sorrow, and said unto them, Why sleep ye? Rise and pray, lest ye enter into temptation. And while he yet spake, behold, a multitude, and he that was called Judas, one of the twelve, went before them, 
and drew near unto Jesus to kiss him. But Jesus said unto him, Judas, betrayest thou the Son of Man with a kiss? When they which were about him saw what would follow, they said unto him, Lord, shall we smite with the sword? And one of them smote the servant of the high priest and cut off his right ear. And Jesus answered and said, Suffer ye thus far. And he touched his ear and healed him. Then Jesus said unto the chief priests and captains of the temple and the elders which were come to him, Be ye come out as against a thief with swords and staves. When I was daily with you in the temple, ye stretched forth no hands against me. But this is your hour and the power of darkness. And they took him and led him away and led him and brought him into the high priest's house. And Peter followed afar off. And when they had kindled a fire in the midst of the hall and were set down together, Peter sat down among them. But a certain maid beheld him as he sat by the fire and earnestly looked upon him and said, This man was also with him. And he denied him, saying, Woman, I know him not. And after a little while another saw him and said, Thou art also of them. And Peter said, Man, I am not. And about the space of one hour after another confidently affirmed, saying, Of a truth this fellow also was with him. For he is a Galilean. Peter said, Man, I know not what thou sayest. And immediately, while he yet spake, the cock crew. The Lord turned and looked upon Peter. And Peter remembered the word of the Lord, how he had said unto him before the cock crow, Thou shalt deny me thrice. And Peter went out and wept bitterly. And the men that held Jesus mocked him and smote him, or hit him. And when they had blindfolded him, they struck him on the face and asked him, saying, Prophesy, who is it that smote thee? And many other things blasphemously spake they against him. And as soon as it was day, the elders of the people and the chief priests and scribes came together and led him into their council, saying, Art thou the Christ? Tell us. And he said unto them, If I tell you, ye will not believe. And if I also ask you, ye will not answer me, nor let me go. Hereafter shall the Son of Man sit on the right hand of the power of God. Then said they all, Art thou then the Son of God? And he said unto them, Ye say that I am. And they said, What need we any further witness? For we ourselves have heard of his own mouth. You know, the Jews actually delivered the Lord Jesus Christ up to crucify him for envy. See, they would never have it that a man could be God at the same time. But our Lord Jesus Christ is God. God in a body. You see, the Lord Jesus Christ came down and was clothed with humanity that in that body he by the grace of God should taste death for every man. Do you realize the Lord Jesus Christ died for your sins and mine? Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. He was buried but praise God the third day he rose again according to the scriptures. Your soul can be saved. If you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, your soul will be saved. What you need to do is this. Come in repentance toward God. That is a change of mind. Simply agree with God that you are a sinner. And then put your faith in our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Do it now before it's forever and eternally too late. You and I are on a journey out into eternity. It's either heaven through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ or it'll be down in hell because you've rejected or neglected the Lord Jesus Christ who desires right now to be your saviour. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God 
is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Are you ready to meet your Maker? What we need to do is come in repentance toward God, as I've said, change your mind, agree with God that you are a sinner, and then put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord, in whom we have redemption, through his blood even, the forgiveness of sin. If you're interested in this, look me up, youtube.com forward slash peace by Jesus Christ. God bless you, and thanks for listening.